Well, it is a late afternoon here on this fine fall day, and we are back on the creek that we fished at here recently. This video here is kind of a jumbled mess because I was actually on my way out to fish somewhere anyway, and I got a text from Old Creek Fishing Adventures, and he was at one of my spots, so I figured I'd swing by, see what's biting, fish a little bit. And the fish were caught, a lot of just BS and back and forth, like anytime john and i are together we're talking about youtube stuff or just fishing in general but more often than not it's youtube stuff but we usually swap a lot of ideas for videos and content and what each other's like dealing with with you know creating content and stuff like that so first part not super exciting but fish were caught and fished with john which y'all seem to like quite a bit we don't get to fish together a lot because, well, his schedule is so much more different than mine. He does a lot more trips than I do, but anyway, let's get the rods together and see what we can catch here in just a short amount of time. Look at this bum down here in my spot. We just can't have this. Yeah, I was talking to a guy the other day it's uh his his channel he's got a little bit smaller channel but all he does is crappie fishing out there and it's a uh, slab king's chat town uh he told me the other day that the water is starting to go down a little bit around yeah Yeah, I kind of wish I'd bought like a five, six, or six foot version of this presso. It's just so much of a noodle, and in places like this, it's just catches on everything. No, oh, that's fish. Thought it was a snag. What's that line sticking out of it? Uh, it's a piece of a the tag I didn't cut. Oh. I left my knife over yonder. Oh, uh, you need it? Nah. Guess not. <laughs> <laughs> Don't reckon it matters. Yeah, a little, little red breast. It's kind of skinny. Dang that fish is cold. You ain't, you ain't wrong there. Yeah, it's starting to, uh, I was like, I picked a couple. I was like, oh, wow. That water just dropped it. I guess it's about time, then. And I was like, I'm ready for that to change. Oh, Get shoot. other fish moving. Get bites. Yeah, there was something right here just in front of us. Get different fish moving around. I, think it, I feel like I like it for the bluegill. Like, I think it gets them going for for somewhat, and then they kind of if it gets too cold, they kind of really drop off. But I had a uh, I had a catch and cook idea, and I'm gonna have to have you there to do it. I want to take and like bread fish in four different ways: one without hot sauce, and then uh, three with it, like just breading. And I got one. I was about to say, <laughs> yellow if it perch. gets colder, these yellow perch start showing up. That's right. And um, there's one. That's a little one. That's my uh, fifth species I've caught here. He's real pale looking, but it's pretty cool. But uh, I'm going to fry some fish with just the uh, breading, and then I'm going to marinate like three other pieces, but I'm going to bread one with just like the seasoned flour, bread one with the cornmeal and then mix cornmeal and breading up on another one and have like four different taste things to see which one tastes better because i tried frying some uh drum the other day up that culvert and oh, yeah. i didn't use hot sauce on it and it was just bland but i just breaded it with brown. Brown no it's just flaky white stuff like perch and yellow bass stuff like that Whoa, that was mine. Had my line up. Oh, oh, come on. Huh? Did I hit your line? It caught like the line? Uh, How did it do that? I don't know. I was like, what? I don't know what happened. I guess because it's just so thin. <sighs> well, I'm snagged if it makes you feel any better. <laughs> Get bigger or something out now. Yeah. Well, several years ago, like it was probably the year after I started fishing this, um, there's two days, or consecutive days, over those days, I caught right at 100 fish. 
I mean, a little bit of everything. And there it is. That's that one sixteenth ounce swim bait. Oh, the pig jigs. Yeah. Yeah. Well, except the swim bait don't come with it, but yeah, yeah. that's yeah. his. Uh, I feel like I've heard rock. You can have that one. I've got a couple of them, but uh, yeah. that would be perfect for a small creek like this. Yeah, that is that is exactly what I needed. I want to get some of those small um, chatter baits too. I want to get some of oh, first cast. <laughs> hey. hey, well, maybe we are on to something. All right, Chris, if I keep catching them, we'll see what happens, see if this really works. That's uh, another skinny. Skinny red, red breast. I'm, yeah. I'm a firm believer in it. I think the scented baits are. Long it last on there, like? That stuff being as thick as it is, or the thump gel being as thick as it is, it stays on pretty good. I mean, you should have to re reapply it, but yeah. not as often as this more liquidy kind of stuff. Yeah, it's pretty. Well, I'm going to walk down this way. I've been kind of avoiding it since it's been snake season and everything's grown up. He's rubbing it in down there. He's stacking bodies and I'm doing good to get a nibble. Seriously? All right. <laughs> That's the secret trick. Scratch your head while you're working your bait and you'll catch a fish every time. <sighs> All right. I'm going to go down there and harass where he's at here in just a minute. All right. I think instead of this red, I've got the black and red trout magnet on here. Um... I'm gonna put one of the brighter ones on. At least I think there's a brighter one in this pack. But this is just a trout magnet kit that, or well, panfish magnet. It's the same thing from Leland Lures that John gave me a while back. And I don't know where that trout magnet thing went to. I just dropped it. But this water is a little bit stained. So having a little bit, little bit brighter option might help I can hear John down there he's uh rubbing it, rubbing it in from a distance he's he's wearing me out with a fish I can't hear a word John's saying because of that truck that's going by <laughs> no nah, actually that one here that's a pretty good one Hey, there's a coffee mug right there, and it doesn't have a handle. There's a running joke in my family because of my grandpa, what that was a pack rat, found a uh, coffee mug handle and just kept it one day. This is a long time ago. And uh, said, well, I might find a coffee mug needs a handle one day. Well, sure enough, there's a coffee mug laying right over here that needs a handle. Dude, I've got bit and lost about 10 times at the end of this one freaking stump. Nice. I'm just getting frustrated now. I've got bit and like fish pulled on it multiple times and ain't hooked up. Of course, they're probably all about the size of the trout magnet I'm using, too. Got you that time. What do we have? Yellow perch. That one shot off like a rocket, too. Yeah, this one's... Yeah, this one's probably about seven or eight inches. I mean, it's just barely enough to you know, get a fillet off of. Not that I would really eat anything out of this creek anyway, considering some of the stuff that I have seen in it.
Got it, finally. Lost it again, dang it. <sighs> John and I have missed so many freaking fish. Like, I don't know how many he missed before I came down here, and then I've missed, I don't know how many in the like, 20, 30 minutes that I've been down here. Finally? It's catch, it's all that matters. I've been trying to fish up there behind Oak a couple more times, but over the course of a week, there was like three or four different wrecks. I was like, you know what, screw that. I, just, I, need, I need to fish a the dam, or like fish your pan fish side. I think it's good there. Oh. 10 more catches. Heck, I probably ran them all off that one day I came down here and did that light and medium light video. All of them were down there at the fence post. Oh, hold on, hold on. You think you got it back? For two pound line, it's amazing. Yeah, That's two pound nice. line is so underrated. Pull that log up. But yeah, drum is seriously slept on. It's just clean, flaky white meat. Oh. What color are you using? Dude, they are like hitting out. Earlier, I couldn't get this. <laughs> now they're thumping it where they're like actually grabbing it. Same, I don't, pretty much same thing. Black and chartreuse? Yeah, except the- Oh yeah, I've got some of those. Pecan. I got some of those in there. The red ear. This is one of the few creeks I catch right here, really. Like, I don't know if many other places where I really catch them. But well, you can creek sometimes if you get them on the bottom. I need to go over there and fish off the that little pull off. I think you did a recent video there. There we go. I had to come down here to John's oh, spot. I had to come right, down come here to John's and uh, start pillaging his fish. Oh man, that thing's sharp. Another yellow perch. That's a good size. I'll just screenshot my other one. Never caught this many yellow perch from this place. I've caught some monsters out here. I did one catch and cook. Um, I did one catch and cook several years ago when one that was about 10 or 11 inches. Hmm. But it's got like this is one of those creeks that you don't expect it to have anything decent but the fish are there like i've caught several bass around a pound to two pounds and several 10 11 12 inch crappie and yeah, catfish and oh, that is bright i need to get out of that sun for a second <laughs> anyway this video here is just really a cluster of you know just fishing like i was on my way to fish somewhere else and john texted me and i was like you know what i know where you're at we don't fish together a lot anymore mostly because of his schedule being so much different but we're going to hit one more bridge that i haven't fished in a very long time and i've fished at it quite a few times on the channel so we'll hear you here we'll see you here just a minute all right well it's the next day and i had a change of plan somebody was where we were planning on going after the first little creek there so i'm gonna go check out a spot that i've drove over thousands of times and fished one side of it but not in this particular spot because i honestly didn't even notice it until just here semi-recently but it's a another teeny tiny little small creek not going to have a lot of place to or a lot of room to you know walk up and down the bank it's a really really small spot so let's get on the road and see if we can catch a couple fish well it's kind of loud right here because the highway is like 50 feet away but here's this little creek y'all can't really see too much of it but dang the mosquitoes are bad down here it's uh, kind of disappointing. I thought it would be a lot deeper than it is, but I know what kind of bank access I've got for later when these mosquitoes die off and we got a little bit more water in it. Looks like we're going here another spot. All right, well, uh, we're back where we started at yesterday. Somebody was where I wanted to check out today because I haven't fished that little portion of this creek in many, many months. <laughs> like It's been probably since last fall, something like that. Anyway. It's neither here nor there, I guess. So 
I'm just going to carry around this little trout magnet kit that we were using yesterday and see what we can make happen because I don't have a ton of time to fish. I mean, I can fish as long as I want to, but the mosquitoes are killer right now, like bad. So we'll see what we can make happen. All right. Kind of looks like the water's come up a little bit, which I don't know exactly how because this ain't really connected to anything. My favorite part of fishing, snagging and retying. That's two snags and two breakoffs in four minutes of being down here. Well, the uh, opposite side of the road here, apparently nothing exists over there. So we're going to go to the back of this corner where we were yesterday and see if we can make something happen. I need some more fish. Hey, we finally caught something. That's what I thought it was. A little yellow perch. I'm getting to where I already know what these things are as soon as they start fighting because they're kind of like walleye when it comes to fighting them. They're kind of a, like pulling in a wet sock. They don't really fight that hard. <laughs> but they bite pretty dang good. Just missed another one right over there. Looks like this is going to turn out to be the same thing as yesterday. Oh. That was out of nowhere. You kind of hooked yourself in the eye there, buddy. God, them fish are pretty when they, they got their fins out. I had to get a picture of that one with its fins out because I normally don't see them with their fins out too much. All right. Well, maybe I can scrounge something out of this video. Because what I'm trying to do is stop scrapping footage. <laughs> Even if it ain't like that great of a video, at least in my opinion. I like to try to turn it into a video that way I can get some views and um, add revenue. Maybe some, oh darn it, just lost another one. Maybe a couple of subscribers out of it. I mean, that's the thing with YouTube. You could put together a video that you don't think is going to do very well and it end up doing pretty dang good. I've had several videos that I just honestly didn't have any faith in at all. And they turned out to be some of the higher viewed videos that I've posted. And in the other side of that, and on the other side of that token, I've posted some videos that I thought would do really good. I took some time, like real time to, you know, edit them, put them together a little bit better. And nothing. YouTube's algorithm is a bitch like that. Oh, wasn't paying attention and that one came and got it. A little red breast. I just pulled, like y'all probably can't see it, but there's a little piece of a tree limb poking up there. And I just pulled it over that and let it drop down. And for whatever reason, looked off to my left and that's when that one hit. I wonder... Like I've got some really, really small hooks that would probably the eye of the, the eye of them would probably fit over that if I could make like a micro stinger hook. I mean, it's really unnecessary for a bait that small, but hey, why not? 
Gotcha. This one's a little bit nicer. You got chill out, hombre. Another little yelly perch. I think I'll be able to scrap this, or I think I'll be able to work something out with this one. Oh, fish. This one feels pretty good, actually. Could possibly be the... Yeah, lengthwise ain't the biggest of the day, but I would say size-wise it is. Very colorful red breast, which... doesn't make sense for them to have so much color with uh, the water being as cool as it is because usually when the water gets, starts getting cool it makes them go pale <laughs> it's the same thing hey I ain't got one of you in this creek in a hot minute Kind of what this creek is known for. Chunky little war mouth. He's a lot more yellow than he actually is because of that. <laughs> but I think what we're going to do is go ahead and wrap her up on that one. And we'll see y'all either back home or back at the vehicular. Well, that was a little bit better stop down here than I figured it would be. Like, I, we really didn't fish, but maybe 30, 45 minutes tops. And, like, the, the last few times that I've tried to fish this creek, it's been kind of slow, except for that, that medium light versus light power rod comparison thing. That was a good video down here. <laughs> but, caught some good yellow perch and that one good warm mouth there at the end. Um, just use some trout magnets, a little basic kit. And a little ultra light rod. But... Figured I would start using these videos like I've said a couple of times before, like instead of scrapping footage, you know, putting something together, which is really how I built the channel is just coming down to these little creeks, you know, catch a couple of fish and turn it into a video. Cause if it never makes it to YouTube, I don't get views, don't get ad revenue and I don't get more subscribers. So without that, there's really no point in doing YouTube. But anyway, expect to see more laid back creek fishing style videos you know i'd put try to put you know a little more creative effort into some of the other stuff like going to the spillways or going up to the mountain creek and trying out baits from brands that i'm affiliated with and you know stuff like that a little bit more serious minded but yeah i want to go back to the more laid back type stuff and you know just make it a little bit more enjoyable not that i wasn't enjoying making those old or other videos I was honestly going to fish a little bit longer, but there was a vehicle coming up and down the road really slow several times. And one time they stopped down here behind my vehicle, so you know what? I'm to talk to it. Outro is gone long enough. Hope this video will see you.